Alright, baby. Palm Harbor Homes. We're going to check them out. For anyone interested in moving to Florida. Alright, baby. All these homes come with a 12 year warranty. Warranty. Yeah. How you doing, man? Alright, I guess go right here. You got the map. How many? This is on South Frontage Road. Off of I-4. Off of I-4. Alright, this one's called the Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze. Now, this is another way of living. I know a lot of people love to come to Florida yes. and they uh, automatically think cement homes, but this is a, a cheaper well, way I'm not gonna of say affordable. Cheaper. Well, they are cheaper because, well, this one here is $203,000 for saying. two bedrooms, so this the does, prices have gone up. This is not necessarily a cheaper alternative. It used to be at one time. It used to be at one time. But these are made better, stronger, and this is a two bedroom. This is the master bedroom with the master bath. And your walk-in closet, oh, I like that. It's got the double doors. Beautiful. Um, oh, I love the shelving in the bathroom. Yeah, at one time this used to be cheaper. No, because they're being made as a house. No, I understand is, that, but what I'm it's saying not is, aluminum is that in, it's not aluminum siding anymore. Well, it's they wood. Actually, yes, it may be wood. Right, but what I'm saying is, from the past, a lot of people think cement houses, cinder block houses, because of hurricanes. Back then, they were cheaper. The disadvantage of a cement house versus a wood house is that the prices, usually on a cement house, they gain more than they would on the wood house. But that was the past. Right. After seeing this price here on this house for two hundred and three thousand dollars. Well. That's pretty, you know. It has gone up because yes. when Robert and I bought ours and had it manufactured the way we wanted it, mm -hmm. which was a four bedroom, three full bathrooms, a utility room, a big kitchen that is bigger than this. Um Ours with the property was only a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. And mind you, this is not included with your property. This is just, just this house. Just that. Not with water hookups and electric hookups. Those are all still. That's not including impact aside. fees. Yes. Yeah. And permits. All right, let's check so, out wow, another one. That has really gone up since two thousand. But all of the rooms have got. Yeah. I mean, they're nice <laughs> sized rooms. I mean, this would be great if it was for like an older couple and they have relatives I mean, that come. This is pretty big. Yeah. Very big. That's not real long here. I don't know. I didn't see anything up there, but I did. Let me see. It's, it is the Pelican Bar. Okay. Now these houses 
uh, because of times past. Like I said, when 93, Florida is uh, divided into five parts uh, of where hurricanes hit the worst. There are areas in oh, Florida. That, that is beautiful. Like in Fort Myers in 93, you couldn't have one of these houses in Fort Myers. Right, because they were not built as strong. Right, plus in Fort Myers, you have to have a foundation. <laughs> Don't have to worry about your toilet being near the shower. I mean, that's this would have to be put on a foundation. But like again, all of these are put on the foundation now. I understand, but what I'm saying is, you had to have a concrete foundation. Yeah. So, with that, now hence today's time, these houses are able to withstand hurricane forces. Yes. Uh, An office, just like I had. Now, whether the laws have changed, because again, in some areas of Miami, you can't have these houses at all. They will not allow these type of houses down there. But from the central line up, you can get these houses. Again, you need property to start off with. And then they bring this to your property mm -hmm. and set it up. And I will say this much, this is place is a heck of a lot bigger than some cement houses I have seen. This is a four bedroom, three bath. This is as big as Robert and I had. And again, these are not trailers. These are half houses and they don't stay on the wheels. They are put into a foundation. They sure are. Beautiful. I mean, space is amazing. Yeah. Let's see what the they price is. All right. Prices are all in the kitchen. Yeah. This one here. Is $287,000. That includes delivery, setup, and high efficiency AC displayed. So that's not bad. So that is not bad at all. So then I must have read it wrong. The other house must be all set up and everything. So this is what's set up and everything. So again, you buy a nice piece of property for $20,000 and you right. can put this house on here. And this is kind of like what I had as well. See how the kitchen is really big? Kitchen is humongous. See, that's what I had. I had an open plan kitchen with the bar. Yeah. The only thing is we had the dining room table and I had a snack bar that come across this way. Yeah, this, this one is humongous. Yes. I will give it an A+. Plus. They've come a long way. They have. Uh, and again, I was going to come in here with a little bit of negativity, but I will be honest with you. I, I do wasn't. not see no... Well, you know what I'm saying? You want to show both sides, what's good and bad. Other than a cement house, you feel more secure and everything. A cement house will stand a lot more, don't get me wrong. But the way that they're building these houses today, uh, again, this it's is... It's just like having a wooden house built. When, you're, when this house comes, it's coming in half. Yes. And then the half gets connected. What we call a module home. It's right. It's a prefabbed house. Everything is set in place. They come in, they put it on the solid foundation. Once it gets on a solid foundation, it is then called a module home. Right. All right, let's go check out another one. Very impressive. You're going out. And if you're coming to the central Florida area, like you can't put these in subdivisions. Subdivisions, they have their own housing, what they're going to put in there. But there are subdivisions in Lakeland. And uh, Zephyr Hills, Dade City that you can. That this have. called the Cottage Farmhouse. That have these type of houses uh, built on oh, already. I like this. 
Oh, wow. I wish this design was available when we did ours. Yes. Oh, it smells like a new car. I know, I love smell. that smell. <laughs> Son of a gun. This is, uh, this is amazing. Now this house here, now you gotta remember, you got taxes on here that are not right. included and impact fees and other stuff. So this right. is a two bedroom den. And a two, two bath. Two bath, 1,393 living space, 227. I wanna say our house is possibly 1,300 living space. Yes. Uh, and that's not counting the little not. not is our house. Either. Absolutely gorgeous. Very well designed. And the advantage of buying private property versus in a subdivision is, of course, you don't have subdivision fees. You uh, don't have rules and regulations right, you have right. to deal with. And you can buy a nice big ass piece of property. And put a nice big ass house up on it. I'm loving the showers. Very roomy. Mm -hmm. Very roomy. It's not like they were built back in the 70s and early 80s. These are way more functional. Um, I mean, I'm just amazed by the kitchen. It just, I mean. Oh yeah, I've always loved a big kitchen because I'm a cook and fool. And when I had four babies, youngins at the house, I was always cooking, but yes. Nice little oh, that was fake fireplace. Gorgeous. I wouldn't even needed my. Uh... It's amazing. Yeah. This one here is amazing. And even like with this room here, if you didn't want it for an office, you could always turn this area into a formal dining room. Yep. Which is, and now yep. another thing I want to say too. When you buy something like this, or you're looking into to buying something like this, if you do not like the layout. That is cool. I love the farm doors. I always have. Well, I'm a farm girl. Um, like say, you don't want this into an office. You do decide, hey, I think this would be better as a formal dining room. You don't want carpet on the floor. Right. You let them know and then they will put in yeah. the um, wood planks. Okay. Cool. Also, get the two car or one car garage. Right, that's added on the side. side. Yep, that's why they always have a side door. Well, hello, Mr. Grasshopper. Gotta say, when you look at the house up front, you think it's kind of small and low. And it's not. But when you get inside here, what? Boots can be the same. Oh, heaven. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I love this. I love this design. And this one is the... Kennedy. Kennedy. Kennedy 2, let me look for that. This is a three bedroom, two bath. This is 30 feet by 60 feet. So it's a lot shorter by 20 feet. And it, oh wow, look at the bath tub. Another thing yeah. too, that I will say. Oh, I love the closet. Is, look, look at, at the shower thing for the water. Another thing too. Hooray. If you're looking to buy something like this in florida you need to hurry up and find property because subdivisions oh. are tearing up they're buying everything they are the subdivision people are buying everything and sooner or later it's going to be hard to find mm -hmm. private property so don't sure waste is. especially if this is what you're thinking about and here they give free tours There'll be someone yep. guided tour with you if you have any questions. And like the salesperson, look at this laundry room. Yes, this is bigger than mine in my own house. This one here is two hundred and twenty-three thousand. Mm -hmm. 
And that's as shown. That 1,800 means... living square feet. Yep. And your cabinets are adjustable. well made. They're adjustable. Especially if you want to build in Plant City where there's a lot of land still. Uh, Kathleen. Well, let me tell you what. I mean, you got to hurry up and grab those lands because. These, and with the closet spaces, are yeah. magnificent. And this isn't even a master bedroom. But no. Amazing. Amazing. Bad tubs are humongous, man. The tubs, I mean, I've seen smaller tubs in uh, cement houses. Amazing. But I will tell you this, when you have one of these built, it does take six to eight months for it to be built. Right. And there, well, with Palm Harbor, it is built right here on site. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, they got free mm -hmm. uh, thing if you want to. And you can see where the seam is. 12 years on the house you yes. have. Okay. Again, you can walk here by yourself. You're not pressured. You take your time. And this one we love is Scottsdale. All right, hold on. And this one is a four bedroom, two bathroom, and it is 26 by 76. So it's a little bit more narrow, but it's very long. Very nice. Got your patio doors. And you, you. This one here is 242. thirty-five Square feet. Foot. That's big. Woo, you gotta love the paint. It's deep. The majority of these, no matter what size they are, they have that thing in the kitchen, that big table in the middle. It's called the island. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I do like this. Very nice. And then it has the shower. Yeah. Right here. And it has the built-in seats. Yes. Which is lovely. And another thing I like that they're putting on is the dimmers and for the fan. Yep. For that one over there. Cool. Just to show you the different anchorage, how they put them on either cinder blocks and then they anchor it to the ground, or you can have a foundation built and they can anchor it to that. Mm -hmm. But anchoring and everything yeah. is all included. included in it. That's what they mean by setup. Which one is this? Doesn't say. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. And this is a red tag sale one. Yeah, so it's Here. gonna be a little bit cheaper. Oh, holy cow. So usually red tag means they're coming with a, a newer model. Newer design. Oh. I love this. Toilet in there. I don't know why they put the floor there though. 
into the utility room. Yes, and into the kitchen. Now, another thing I will also tell you that anytime you buy a home like this, if you do not have appliances of your own, these already come with all the appliances. They will either be Whirlpool, GE, or Samsung. 205. That's not bad. Up to 100 miles they'll deliver this house. So that's quite far. And this is a three bedroom. And these are nice size rooms, I must say. Now this one here. Oh well, this must be the back of the house. Ready for immediate delivery. Yeah, this has got to be the back porch. Yes, it is. This is the Elliston. This is a two bedroom, two bath. two people then this is perfect oh yeah sorry two closets in this room Yeah, this is a small house, let's see. Is this two bedrooms or three? Three. Let's see, they got the prices here. All right, this one here is 169. 1260 living space. That's a three bedroom, that's not bad. Three bedroom, two baths. Yeah. And then you have a back porch with this one. And that's what I mean when it comes in two pieces. That's how they bring it to you. And then they seam it right in the middle. And you all know no difference. And they do have uh, new houses that are coming in. New styles. Looks like the porch ones are going to be the new more stylish ones. This is the Barbados. Yes, this is 30 by 64. This one is supposed to be three bedrooms, two baths. I'm loving it. I'm really glad they took the snap bar away because it does make it more open. This one here is 220,000. Uh, 1920 living space, three bedroom. Two bats. And then, of course, wait till you lift the load of that uh, master bedroom back to yonder. Look at this the living room is in the back of the house, too, as well. Oh, you have a second room. What the heck? This is like a two living room. It's quiet. Dang, we... these rooms are big. I guess that would be like a den. Yeah. <laughs> that bathroom. This one's like a maze. Yep. This is like a maze. This is amazing. And you don't, you don't kind of get that, I live in a trailer feeling. Uh -uh. You get, like, if you lived up north, 
and you lived in a house kind of style feeling versus the cinder block house you get a different feeling but you don't get a trailer feeling in here so I know a lot of people think like oh well you know I'm living in a trailer you don't get that feeling you get like if you live up north feeling uh, there actually you get the feeling like you are in a block house How they're doing the little well, that's what it looks like that they're doing a lot of porches on the newer ones. Well, I mean, we've had ours built, but we paid for it. That's the Finley. Finley. This is a four bedroom, two bath. And again, you have two living rooms. I mean, the kitchens are. You're into kitchens, boy. Well, this ain't bad. Two hundred eighteen thousand dollars for eighteen hundred well, living what, space. What you keep forgetting is the kitchen is the heart of the home. But I'm saying, when you see a lot of cement houses, you don't see this spaciousness. Mm -mm. Uh, and if you do, you're paying for it. Yeah. This is this could be easily a three hundred thousand dollar plus house, easily. You could turn one of the bedrooms into a small offices if you like, which is nice. I like that. I mean this this one here, like I said, easily. Utility. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I must say, these rooms are really nice and big. This is 199 and this is 1,654 square feet. No, that wasn't a toot, that was my hand on the... So it's one, two, okay, it is a... Jesus. I like that concept. And the toilet's there. Lock in the toilet. But I like the concept of the master bedroom going straight into the utility room. Hey, you notice a lot of these houses, other than this one here with that little space there, the there foyer. is no wasted space. Yes, every space is being used. Mm -hmm. And again, that's all you're seeing is that seam right there. Yep. That's all. It's all blended in. It's no worse than when you're having cathedral ceilings. And then you would come out, and then your patio would be right there. Yeah, it's locked because they don't want you out there. Well, at least you could show them. Yeah, because this would be the front of your house. Yes. And I do feel a little bit of this is a little bit high in the center, and then it goes down. But I guess that's a feeling you have to get used to. Well, actually, once they put it in its stationary and it's not going, then you won't have that. Mess of three. Oof, it's still being under construction. Oh, okay. 
But at least you get to see what the house looks like before. And then you get to see where the split seams are at. And you get to see how they put the joints together. Yes. So this is very... At least you, you know, you see that, yeah, you see how they put it together. So that's good. That's good that you get to see the house like this. Then at least no people know. That's how they join it. Okay. That one looks like a regular old house. brick house with garage. All right, this is the Bunic. This is a four bedroom, two bath, 28 by 68. And you can see when they connect it, that's what they put. Yes. And again, you don't feel it here. Maybe it was just that other house, but you don't feel going from one side oh my, to the my, other my. side. Holy moly. Some woman who loves to cook would be in heaven in this kitchen. All right, hang on. $238,000, 1820 living space and look at this dude look at this pantry then you have all of this space then you have your microwave here i mean this is this I is love big the farm doors i'm sorry i just love my farm doors yeah this is all farm doors i'm in heaven heaven tell you How's the walkout? It's oh. a nice size. Nice size. Decent size. Oh yeah. That's a kitchen buddy. Bedroom? Oh no. Yeah, you can turn it into an office. That's another thing guys oh. too. If you see, you happen to be browsing, and you see something like this that this actually is, has the desk. It's a she shed. You can have it built in, or if it doesn't have it, you can request it, but it will cost you a little bit more. It's a she shed. Love it. And this would be your washer and dryer would be in here. Yeah. Still not bad. No, not at all. And I like, again, I like it because it has the two different living rooms. Yeah. TV room, guest like room, it. like, usually you would keep one person out of one living room. So if you had a guest, you would keep them in here and you wouldn't keep them back there. All right. That's very nice. I love this layout. Yeah, this one's beautiful. Yeah. All right, now let's go to this one. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, look at that big old window right there. Malibu. Malibu. Your front doors you can choose and have any design on your front door. Oh baby. This is nice. Alright, let me 
1,800, three bedroom, two bath. Two bath. This is 30 feet by 60 feet long. And it is very open and spacious. Oh. I like the little utility room. I like the Oh, I think living in something like this feels nicer. Look at there how they've got it set up. That's the utility room. I like how they've got that set up. Yeah. The washer dryer. Soaps. Yep. And then you like your ironing and, or stuff like that you can put there. But I like how they got this set up for like a toddler's bedroom. So it gives people an idea of what a single bed would look like in the bedroom. This is beautiful. I don't know, I like this. Now we're gonna go into the one that has a garage that literally looks like a, a brick house. Isla 2 clearance. Right. Oh wow. What the heck? That's got, got the kitchen there, but then it's got uh, a like sink here. A prep. That's a prep sink. For like when you're doing, you got your wine rack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a, what we call a prep sink. Yeah. Wow. Let me find this one. This is a four bedroom, three bath. 355,000, 1900 living space. It's worth everything. Ooh, I like this. Son of a gun. Look at this. I'll be right there. Let me just go through here real quick. I love the open floor plan. Hot dang. Marvelous. I mean, this kitchen alone just. Who takes the cake, baby? All right, so you have this room, which you could either have it into a bedroom or an office coming off the front door and out of the dining room. Then from this bedroom, you would go straight down the hallway. Bathroom on the right. Utility closet. You have this. And then you have another bedroom. <laughs> now this does not have a master bathroom en suite. So that thought. But I think I'd rather lose the master bathroom, bathroom ensuite suite. to have all this. Yeah. I mean, the main thing is you got two bathrooms on each side of the house. But the thing is, is how did you get to the garage? Oh, oh. garage not included. Oh, wait a minute. And it's okay. locked. Okay. So the garage is not included in the price. There is the master bath ensuite. This is four bedrooms. Here it is. Holy cow. This 
Is that enough room to take a shit? Or what? Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is well worth Two it. fireplaces. Oh, it's got one of the master suite. Oh, how romantic. Wow, but the garage is not included in this price, no, guys. No, that would be separate. But, but you can see it is connected to the house. But yes, that's that's why they do it. It gives you an idea of what it would look like already attached to the home. All right. Now this one here. Oh yeah, that is. Because nice. sometimes these come in three pieces. But. This is only a double. This isn't a quad. No, it's not a quad. Okay. No, it's not a. It's Almost not feels a like it. And it's not a quad. Almost feels like it. All right, let's go to it the next. It does kind of feel like it. Yeah, it does. And another thing too, guys, when you get, if you're buying a home like this, and a lot of the newer ones are with the tapered ceilings, they're not really cathedral ceilings. Right. But they are tapered. Yeah. That is the best because you're not wasting energy trying to cool the home. Learn from BB's mistakes. This is a triple. Told you. Oh, it is. A one, okay. two, and we're standing underneath the other one. Yeah. Okay. That is a triple seam. Son of a guy. That's why I said it looked like on the inside, like a triple seam. Mm. Definitely is a triple seam. For that price. You got a whole lot of house. Yeah. And this one here. Oh, this is the Easton farmhouse. And this is 30 by 68. Oh, wow. I love that. Oh, I love it because the fireplace is right there. That's so cool. Damn. Look at this. Look at refrigerator. this. Another one, man. That. No, dude. You need with the sink. I'm just saying, hang on one second because look at that sink. Let me see. Open it. Son of a gun. Look at that. And this is a double seam. Wow. Oh, I love the kitchen. Oh, I got to take a peek over here. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. living room. Laundry room. I would buy it with everything just as it is. That's for your breakers. Oh, okay. Two smaller bedrooms on this side. Son of a gun, man. This makes you rethink about. But this is another thing that I love right here. Do you see this? You can be. Yeah. Look out your window. Because it has a kitchen. back porch. Yes, I love it. This one here. Wow, it's only two hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. Yeah, it's two thousand and forty square feet. And again, this is this. just a double. I love this. And this almost looks as big as the triple, but you could tell the triple was really. Why? Yes. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, wow. Lights underneath the sink. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. And a place to sit down in the shower. shower. And then, of course, your toilet is in here. Cameraman would be all so happy. Oh, no, I love this. This is amazing. Again, guys, you can choose your colors of your home outside and inside so if gray 
doesn't fit your farmhouse colors, you can pick any colors that they have. Same with your base colors. Now also, when you're getting any home, you want a semi-gloss. Don't ever get flat. I don't care if you got no kids or not. We're humans, we touch stuff. Alrighty. Ready for immediate delivery, the Jenkins. Alright, let me find it on here. Okay, this is a two bedroom, two bath. This is 26, almost 27 feet long or wide and 52 feet long. So it's a little smaller. But as you guys can 218,000, 1550 square feet square feet but as you guys are seeing as we're going through this you're not feeling cramped up you do not um what was the word i'm looking for you don't feel like you're living in a mobile home no you don't you feel like i mean not living. that it is a mobile home but you don't feel like you're living in a modular home right it feels like you've or living in a brick home. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. How they designed that, made it wide so you could sit. I like that. But I will say this. They do emphasize on big kitchens. This well, is where you get the sale. Just from the kitchen alone. That's where you're getting yourself from. Right. I mean. Where does everybody go? To the kitchen. Right, but I'm saying like, you know, out of all, all the houses that we've seen in here, it's kitchen. You go to the cement houses, you don't see kitchens. No. Everyone's got different size kitchen depending if they want a bigger room, but all these rooms are humongous. All these kitchens are triple humongous, but. Yeah. The kitchen is really, well, every house we've seen, no matter what size, has an as, island. As you're seeing, the manufacturing home companies are realizing, which they all, all already did in the past, but now they're really emphasizing it, that the kitchen is in the heart of the home. Yeah. If anyone, you know, mom's cooking, that's time to talk to mom. Dad's coming home for lunch in the kitchen. Well, if you're in the kitchen and you're able to see them from the television, it's all good, you know? And that's whether you have a formal dining room or not. Those are a single. All right, this is the Levi. And then we got two more. Now this is um, almost 27 feet wide, but 48 feet across. So it's, or long. So it's much shorter than the other one that we were in. But again, let me emphasize that the kitchen is the heart of the home. This one here is only 178,000, 1,256, two bedrooms, a den, and two baths. So, in that den, you could always turn into a third bedroom if you had to. This is the master suite. That's nice. This is for somebody who's just two people. Or you're starting a family. Did I say this was a two bedroom or a one bedroom? This is a two bedroom. Where was the other bedroom? The other bedroom is right Oh, yeah, in. that's right. Snuck right in. Snuck right in. Okay. This is good for two people, three people. And then this is the den. So you could turn this into like an office. Or a TV room. Or a TV room, yeah. All right, let's see. Now, the Lake Charles is 13 feet by 47 feet And this tall. is a tiny home. This is a tiny With home. With a fireplace outside. And they're not open. Okay. All right, this is a tiny home. Now this one here is a two bedroom, one bath. 
137,849 living space. This is your retirement home. Yeah. Yep. Basically your retirement home. It's cute though. Yeah. Yeah, it's all you need for two people. One person. Yeah. See, it's gonna save you on heating, cooling. Yep. And they do say that this is built Irma Strong. That's a Palm Harbor home. So. And that was in 2017. Right. So just remember, these houses are hurricane, hurricane strong. strong. Not proof. Strong. Any, any house, not here, it's not hurricane proof, but they're hurricane strong, strong because of the regulations. And each part of Florida is broken up into... Uh, which I don't see the map here, but each part of Florida is broken up into situate into one, two, three, four, five to where you can't build a trailer. You can't put trailers. They have to be either this or cement. Even Central Florida, they have to be able to withstand a yeah. hurricane. Fire. From Central Florida on up, you can build these homes. But more and more of these homes are getting better that they're starting to be able to build further south. Yeah. But like I said, you might not find, yes. you might, I mean, in Fort Myers, I couldn't get approved for one of these, but that was a 93. Right. So big difference. And that's what that is, a tiny home. All right, this will be the last house here. This is a two bedroom, two bath. Nice. Not bad. Again, a nice big kitchen. And a nice big utility room. I'm all for that. One bedroom. Bathroom there. Ensuite bathroom. Oh yeah. I like that. I like this better than the whole wall going up. Yeah. Well, you like staring at people. I'm married to you. I can <laughs> stare at you any damn time I want to. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So this is an alternative. If you don't want to be in a subdivision, this is an alternative. If you wanted to be on private property, a lot cheaper, more and the property, for your value. You and, and when we're saying property, we're not saying you have to have, you know, a whole acre. You no. can get a half acre. You yeah. can get a nice size lot and put one of these on. Yeah. If you don't want a lot of land that you have to take care of. Yeah. Or you don't want animals. Yep. So, again, that would go with your home. You could do a land and home and have it all together. Yeah. Um... Another thing is with smaller, with buying these, this, and putting it on your own property, you don't have to worry about HOA fees. You don't have to worry mm -hmm. about anyone messing with you or anything like that. They're built just as strong as a brick home. And they have a 12 year warranty. Yes. Anyway, and the so. 12 year warranty is for roofing and the connection. Any connection. Like that. No, and that also includes doors. Yeah, loose. yeah, that's what I mean. Everything. Anything that has to do with the house them being building built. itself and stuff. So even your appliances. Let us know which one you liked. What do you think about the prices? If you guys own one of these, or you own a cement house, but I mean, at first when I walked in here, I was gonna be like, you know, man, I probably find a lot of things wrong with this house, but I'll be honest with you, I couldn't find nothing wrong. Listen, when we had ours built. I had no regrets over that. And, and even it, with the size of the houses, it still feels like you're, I mean, even with this here, and even with them furnitured, it still feels like you're living, 
in a, in house. a bigger house yes. than what we're living in in our small house. Our small house feels crunched. Yeah. These houses feel... It's because it's open. Yeah. When yeah. you built the house, you put wall, wall, yeah. wall, yeah. wall. This is just all open. All right, so until our next adventure, guys. Everybody take care. Take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. See ya.